All right. Well, I make a motion to open up the Millville Board of Health meeting for August 10th, 2022. I'll second that. <clears throat> we have vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We are open. What do we got, Sherry? Okay. Well, we have uh, 153 Main Street. They're looking for a local upgrade on a septic plan. Um, Lenny, it did look over the plan. There was a revision that was made. Um, the plans were resubmitted. Lenny approved the revision. And now we have um, Bill Gottwald. Gottwald is the engineer and he is looking for a local upgrade um, on the plan and I'll let him explain what he's looking for. Okay, uh, hello? Yes. Hello. hello. Oh, hi, hi, this is Bill. Um, I believe we're asked where we are asking for three local upgrades. It's a small lot. Um, we, we had to do a sieve because of the water table. Um, the, the sieve showed it was 96% sand. It's very good material, but the water table was set up. Uh, I was here in front of me, about, about, about five, five feet, a little less than 54 inches, something like that. Um, also a, um, the well, the well in this particular house was in the basement. It took me a while to find it, but there's, there's a uh, point well driven in the basement. So that is 55 feet away from the leaching area. And uh, the, there's no abiding wells that affect it. It's just the on-site well. And it also asked for a five to four foot water t uh, table reduction. So you won't have to use a pump. And those are the I've never heard of a uh, well in a, a cellar ever. <clears throat> well, I, I I have seen them. They're, they're not this somewhat rare, but I have seen them. But it, it's there. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know why they did that, but I I have seen them in the past, and that's where it is. Whereabouts that is that on Main Street? How far down is it past the library? Is it further up? Ah, uh, the fire station. I'm not, I'm not too too familiar with the town, but. I, if if I come out, yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure it's past the. Um, if I come out of your office there, take a left up towards the uh, on on Main Street. What was uh, the number here again? Uh, One fifty three. Just a small house there, uh, on the corner. Uh. Yeah, I know exactly where that is, Kathy. That's uh, just before the bend over there. On the, coming from okay. the center of town towards Blackstone, it's on the right. Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a, all that is right now, there's a cesspool. If you see the plan, the cesspool is actually, uh, even though we're, the leaching field is 55 feet away, the cesspool is probably, uh, I don't know, 35, 40 feet away from this, this, this well in the basement. I mean, you, you can have them do water testing for it too, I'm sure, but... Um, that's that's where it is. Your plan is not to keep that well in the basement, is it? What's that? Well, is I, your plan I, to my plan? I, I mean, I'm not the the builder, but yes, as long as it's it's fine. I mean, it's been there for all these years. If there's nothing wrong, this is no reason they can't keep it there. And uh, you guys will be eliminating the cesspool in the upgrade, right? Yes, sir. So it'll be uh, 55 feet. You said with the leach field. 55 feet, yep. I, I don't see a problem with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with it, too. Okay. And then what was the other up, uh, upgrade? Uh, the groundwater? Uh, yeah, five to four feet groundwater. If, 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 I, if I, with the one foot that way, they, they don't need to put a pump in. They can just gravity. Yeah, I don't, that's okay, too. So. And I'm okay uh, with that that, oh, the other one we we did we did a sieve because uh, the water table. But. All right, I'm good with that. Okay. Uh, Harry, vote on it, bro. Yeah, you're gonna vote. Aye. I'm fine. I'm fine. I do local upgrades on. What, what number Main Street? 153. 153. On 153 Main Street. All in favor, say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, uh, one other thing, I sorry, I, th this is Phil Gottwald still speaking here. Uh, I'm also a, um, I put an application, a, an installer's permit application in, because I'll, I'll most likely, even though I'm an engineer, I also have uh, new installations. So I think you have all my paperwork. I don't know if you have any questions or, or not on that. Or I have all his paperwork later. and yeah, he, he, you've never been licensed in Millville, right? No, no, no. I've okay. only been in Millville a couple of times in my life. And, okay, no, that's, that's so. fine. It's just that, yeah, that's the only reason why it really has to go to a Board of Health meeting um, because um, you haven't been licensed in Millville. But I do have all his paperwork. I have his three licenses from other towns that are current. Um, they are from Lakeville. Where is this one? I can't read that one. What, webs what does that say? To Town of I have a Wareham. Bunch of Wareham. Wareham, and, Wareham, yep. And Taunton. So he has three licenses of those town. He has a certificate of liability insurance. He has signed off on the agreement that he's well aware of all the uh, Board of Health regulations. I have the um, workman's comp form filled out that he's a sole proprietor. He signed his REIT form, which is the um, stating that he pays his taxes and he also has um, a current hoisting license. So everything is complete with his application. It just needs board of health approval. Is there a fee involved that's been paid? Yes, he's paid that as well. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. He's got three other references. So he meets all the qualifications that give him his license. I, well, as a permit, I should say. Okay, I'll I'll get down there shortly. Do we need a motion to to do that, Cherry? Yeah. So, just a motion. A second. Ah, uh, Tom in favor. Okay. Aye. 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 I just gave you an eye. Aye. Aye. All right, so you're all set. Thank you very much. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Bobby, are you in your, where are you? I am on the football field. Oh, cool. Are you winning? No, <laughs> oh, it's not practice. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty-nine Chestnut Hill Road. Um, we're just waiting on one more thing that he has. A, he's he's having difficult. He, he's going for a betterment loan, um, and we're, we're working with him. The money is available. He, I just, I can't um, send it into you for approval yet because he's still waiting on one more estimate. He needs retaining walls on either side of the system, and he's been having some issue with um, getting people and people replying, people coming. I mean, we're, we're all kind of well aware of how difficult it is to get people now. So um, that's the only thing holding this up at this point. Um, so uh, I'm not ready to present it, but I just want to let you know why there's still, um, I was hoping it would be in for today, but it's not. So it's on hold. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and it, it scratched off the agenda, so let's put it on next uh, month okay. or next meeting, and, and hopefully it'll have all, all the paperwork done. Yeah. It, all right, so we got that. Next is... New permit? Yeah, that, that we kind of just took care of that one. That was uh, Gottwald. All right, 26 Summit Street. Okay, 26 Summit Street. Okay. The planner um, has, let me get the paper for you. Hold on. This is from Jack Hunter from the planning board. And he says, please find attached site plans in front of the planning board for a proposed accessory apartment at 26 Summit Street. If you could provide... Oh, the homeowners. 
I'm sorry? That's Todd Who DeShaney. Who is the homeowner, just so I get a, a, a gist of where they are on Summit? That's uh, Todd DeShenis. He's uh, just past um, Willie Shea's brother's house there. Okay. I'd just like to know the surroundings. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay, so Jack Hunter from Planning um, was just giving this to the Board of Health to see if you had any concerns or comments. Um, either way, you can give him an email. And he left a plan here. Uh, let's see, Robin Accessory Partner, name of applicants. Oh, okay. I mean, is it that will a septic handle it? I mean, we got to, uh, I think it's something we made to check with Lenny. Yeah, we're going to have to. Um, it's attached to the house and they want to um, separate apartment attached to the house. Is that it? It says this is to notify the town of Millville that I will be living full time. This is in a proposed in-law apartment conversion of the existing accessory accessory dwelling garage so that looks like they're changing yeah, they, the got a, they got a garage at the end of the driveway there detached from the house and uh okay i just read that bylaw last week and uh i would be okay with it the way it is right there as long as they don't exceed the i think it was two domestic employees or three family members you know what here i don't have the septic plans but that what that's basic well, hold on maybe this is it nope so you need to make sure that the number of bedrooms don't exceed the septic system correct exactly so, and that has to be that has to be checked out by lenny right so why don't i pull the files for that okay so if the number of bedrooms is, uh, if, this, if the septic system is sufficient with the number of bedrooms in the house, are you guys okay with it? I'm okay when we get the report from Lenny. Okay, and if, okay, so you first wanna go with the report from Lenny. Well, my whole, my thing with it is, uh, you know, this is pretty much gonna be construction here. This, so they would need a new hook, a new hookup anyway. So either they, either it fits and they attach to the current system where they're going to have to put in another one. I thought that was, that should be pretty basic, right? Well, yeah, obviously it doesn't work, but are they willing to put in a whole new septic system for this? You know, I, But doesn't I, sound like a lot of information for me to, to vote on it because uh, is it a two bedroom, three bedroom? What are they trying to do? And I don't want to do anything don't, without. Yeah, I don't think you should vote first. tonight. I think like what you said, I'll pull the plans. I'll have Lenny review them to see if the number of bedrooms in the with the accessory attachment and what's in the house itself is sufficient. What's in the ground? And uh, just in case, because most of those septic systems are built for the house that's existing and not more, if uh, right. if there isn't enough, we could recommend that for an accessory building with a small apartment with one person in it, you may want to put a tank in and just take care of it that way. It might be more cost effective for him. Just a little extra yeah. info. Todd, uh, he's a, we, we know him well. He's a good man. Yeah. And if it's a two or three bedroom, then, then that all changes. So I don't, I don't know if you can do that, but I think you can ask Lenny. They they may have to expand their septic system. You mean as opposed to installing a tank? Yeah, I, I I'm gonna let, I, me, let me answer that. I I, I think that'd be up to them, to, depending on what they're planning on. Tanks in. I I think you just can't put a tank in. I think it has to go through some sort of process. But I'll I'll ask Lenny. He's the expert. So. Oh yeah, we need Lenny to inspect that and see what what the plan is. If it's a one bedroom or a three bedroom, and and. Okay. Get he's his coming opinion on tomorrow. It. He's actually coming to the town hall tomorrow. So okay. I'll have him look at this and sure, I'll have him look at the plans. And if he has to call one of you, who, who would who would you like him to call if he needs to ask a question of one of you? Probably Dustin, right? 
Dustin. Sure. Okay. Yeah, All I would right. say Dustin. Okay. It sounds like a plan. Okay. That. Big. We have signatures. Um. No signatures, but we have plan review, and that would be 72 Fisher Street. Is um, is he on the line? Charlie? Yeah. Doesn't look like. Oh, geez. Put him on the next agenda. Uh, he really wanted to be on this one. Let me just give him a quick call. Well, Bobby, why are we waiting? Are the kids winning? <laughs> Well, everybody's winning. We're uh, we're in practice now. They're uh, we're getting them ready. A scrimmage in two weeks. Alrighty, go get them. Both boys playing. Oh uh, yes, uh, different teams, but they're both playing. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, of course. Good fun. They getting ready to go back to school. Yeah, it's uh, school is what two and a half weeks from now, three weeks. Uh, they're they're a little disappointed. Uh, summer's over. They go to camp. They go down the Tupper camp. They really like that. But uh, oh, have they have they, you know, have they like, been or are they going? They they've been going. They've been going for the whole summer. They they really love it down there. Nice. Nice. Well, this is the uh, this is the team over here. Anybody wants to, uh, there's still time. If your boy wants to play, the U, U10 and U12 are all full up, but everybody else is, uh, everybody else is open. What age group are they in? My, uh, my sons are, uh, U10 and U8. Okay. My grandson's only three, so this won't. I'll have to wait. Oh, uh, he's got one more year. <laughs> you can go That's uh, four to uh, four to six. Here's some Robinson blood over there too. There's <laughs> only three. I wish that they had a three-year-old division. My boys would have played. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, are we just waiting to see if Charlie Poole is going to come on, or? Charlie. I'm sure he was invited. I know that Sherry, I asked for the agenda, but she also sent me the information. I had that and wrote it down a couple of days ago. So I had that, so hopefully he had that. Sherry, I don't know where she went. I was calling him. What is the date for the um, Melville oh, movie yeah. night that we keep hearing? They just had it. The... Oh, hey, okay. Charlie. Hi, Gene. Hey, Dustin. Hey, Dolly. Hello. All right. Hi, Dolly. Hi. All right. What are we talking about? Where's well, I want to do a repair on my system. Yeah. Uh, the problem I have is uh, it's it's coming up where the D box is, and I think my trenches have been like cut off of something in the past. Yeah. I have, a, I have my original plans. I was hoping to get them to you before now, but, um, 
it uh, it has reserve in my plans. I don't know if I can use my reserve. I don't know if I can do a couple test holes and see what's happening. I, I mean, really, you probably you need to do a Title Five. What a Title Five inspection? I have no problem. I mean, with you installing, but it's kind of need to start from square one. Okay. The, because I mean, if you had breakout, you know, you're gonna have to have another engineered, you know, plan drawn up. Right. Obviously, you could do the install, but it, we still need, uh, you know, a Title Five done. And then, well, Lenny said he said if he has breakout, he's, you know, he's gonna need a whole new system. Is what he said. Well, title I didn't hear that's what Dustin said. Well, I mean, it all depends on the title five, but yeah, you know, it, it, but we did ask Lenny already. Right. But, uh, years ago I had a sprinkler system put in. I, I, I'm thinking maybe they hit that pipe, my trench, one of my trenches or both my trenches digging the, the sprinkler in Yeah. And, and kinked it off. And that's why, cause why would it be bubbling up on the highest part of the system? True, it should be on the lowest part. Right. Well, the how long part, ago was the time? sprinkles put in? About 20 years ago. Oh, smoke. Wow. So what I'd like to do is dig it up and see if my my field is saturated itself toward the end of my trenches. To see yeah. if the field's actually being used. If oh made, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So my father had the same thing happen with his system at an old place where it got kicked off from some equipment they were running over it. He got a brand new leach field uh, 15 years after it had been installed because it hadn't been used since the original construction. So I, I had uh, Chris Lanou out here and he located the end of my trenches. So I know where they are. I mocked them with re-rod and I'd like to dig them and see if uh if the field itself is saturated in the in the, the sewer gravel well i mean that's your yeah, yeah you can do that i mean but mm -hmm. i i still you can do that to see yeah i mean there's no problem with that it, it's yours right but um if you are going to need a, you know a, a really we're going to probably want to see a title five and then go from there all right but so i i I went to Shea engineer about a year ago for this and <laughs> I just recently went back and got all my paperwork back from him. Cause I mean, I want to get going on, on it. I was going to go with the title five, but it seems like it's taking forever because everybody's busy. So well, you, can you re recommend well, somebody? Lanou could, could have done it. They do what, title the, five. Do the title five inspection. Yeah, they do. I mean, there's plenty. You've got Gibson, you know, ADC. Oh, Darwin. Darwin, yeah. I mean, whoever. Okay. And uh, once I get those results, then we go from there. That would be the first step. Yeah. It, what's it take to get your Title Five license? You know, I'm not sure. It's all state. You have state. to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll uh, I'll get uh a Title Five inspection. See what's going on. I'm I, like I said. I wanted. I just didn't want to dig in my field without telling you guys first so you drive by because you are my neighbor and see me yeah, digging in the, in the front yard <laughs> no i mean i've already talked about it i mean you can, obviously you can see what's going on if you want to see taking it out to the field but right right at the pipe, but yeah and, and to top it all off my d-box is under my driveway yeah when they installed the system the driveway was put over it after didn't realize that either. Oh, that's uh, nice. You got to kind of like toddle on to uh, half of the, half the D boxes under the driveway. Well, as yeah, long as title five have... inspectors can use cameras. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. So right. I'll, uh, I'll do that and, uh, I'll get back to you. And I'll, all I'll right. Get... Good luck with that. All right. Thank you. What, 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 awesome. 
Bye, Gene. Bye. 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 See ya. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Terry, what? That's it. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just double check. Items not anticipated and adjournment is what I have. That's it. All right, great. Motion to close the meeting. That's right. it, Bobby. Now, <laughs> second. Didn't even need prompting this time. Have a nice oh. night, everybody. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, All guys. Right. Bye.